Dr. Wakefield, given the nature of the concerns that I have tried to raise about Tim Hassel, why do you refuse to take the action mandated in such circumstances? Stand him down from clinical service provision, or suspend him pending investigation? The allegations you have raised that Dr. Hassel intentionally killed your daughter are criminal in nature, you think? If you receive a complaint alleging criminal conduct, you are required to refer it to the CCC. You are familiar with Section 38 of the Crime and Corruption Act, aren't you, Dr. Wakefield? You have produced nothing by way of any prima facie evidence to support your claims. Prima facie evidence is not required. The standard is a reasonable suspicion, and it's not that I have not tried to present evidence. You have just refused to receive it, undoubtedly. You can always argue that you have no reasonable suspicion, because you refuse to look at any documentation that I try to table. However, to refuse to accept information, whilst creating an evidentiary bar that not even the CCC require, shows that you simply don't want to know. You have consistently refused to have your allegations examined by the appropriate statutory agencies, despite many written and verbal requests by me for you to do so with our full cooperation. I don't want the matter going to OHO. Its job is to bury health complaints. CHQ has the processes to investigate the matter, and needs to do so. And your offers of full cooperation are just for show, Dr. Wakefield. You know it, and so do I. We will not be standing down a respected clinician without prima facie evidence of wrongdoing. It's like I'm speaking another language.